Hi and welcome to my playhouse. Today we're gonna be exchanging some CPUs in that server and uh, that's because one of my good patrons very long time ago sent me um, some CPUs and today I have a little bit of channel maintenance. Um, if you're a patron to my channel you uh, have access to my patreon videos and I see that a lot of you guys are not watching those videos I'm watching you so if you're a patron please go watch the videos that I put on patreon for you it makes me feel better about uh, taking your money so this is Hank from the Netherlands or Holland and he writes to me hi Morten in this package are three CPUs Intel X 5460s maybe you can use them for your patreon project or put them on the shell I don't use them any longer have a nice day greeting from Hank from Holland um, they have been on the shell for quite a long time because I kind of forgot about them and put them out of sight and so today I'm gonna be upgrading this server up here the server up here is a Lenovo slash IBM or IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 1 all of these three are and the top one I'm gonna be replacing the CPUs in that one right now there is the Intel Xeon X5450 in there and Hank has sent me three of these X5460s it's not as if there is a big difference there there are like uh, I wrote some numbers down here the X5450 compared to the X5460 well there is a 160 megahertz difference um, that is quite a lot actually I remember my first PC being 33 megahertz and that was fast back then so uh, yeah that's about five of those well it was slow back then so um, I checked out the benchmarks and I get an additional 218 benchmark points out of about out of about 4200 400 ish and funny enough both of these CPUs uses the same amount of power so I get I get all the benefits but it doesn't cost any more power to run it so that's why I think okay we'll do this because if it was just gonna use more power well it might not really be worth it so let's go see what we have so this is the server up here it's um, it's occupied with six two terabyte uh, hard drives up here so the server has a total of 12 terabytes of storage in there and down here we can push the button and we can see what it is it has two CPUs both of them are Intel Xeon x5450s I said that and they are 3 gigahertz that's the server and the server number the 7979 is available in multiple versions this one the b9g is able to take these 5400 cn processors some of the older ones are only able to take the the two core processors the 5100 series and the 5000 series uh, but this one is able to take quad cores I have totally filled this server up with RAM so it has the total of 48 gigabytes of RAM in here and that's about what's interesting with this I more or less turned it on so that we could see the numbers and then we will change the CPU and we'll see that it has become better so here are the CPUs from Hank are very nicely wrapped thank you and they are here and sure enough they are the 54 it, it's right there can we can we zoom in on that we can that's a good picture right there so yeah 3.16 gigahertz 12 megabytes of internal cache and a front side bus of 1333 megahertz awesome so we're gonna be installing two of those and um, the third one I'll put back on the shelf so 
Cool. I'll, uh, let's uh, shut down the server and get to it. The server is now blinking and not making as much noise. So um, I'll go around the back and disconnect the cables and we'll uh, have this out in no time. It's powered off. So let's have this out. Um, for filming purposes, this is the worst server that I could pick. So perfect. Okay, I have taken the cover off and so here we have the server. Both of the CPUs are right here. So uh, I'm gonna take off the, the cooling fans here. Oh, uh, we can just release those, maybe. There's one, and there is the other one. So we'll take these off. There will be some, oh, that's original. So I've never had these CPUs out. These are original CPUs. I can see that, uh, if you see that square there, you can see where the CPU has been sitting and the square block of uh, cooling compound around it. That means that that was the original thing that IBM placed there when the server was new. So we will clean that off. So we'll put that down there. And that one. And I'm gonna be needing both hands to take the CPUs out. So I'll take those out. We'll have a look at them on my little keyboard table down here. Okay, I cleaned off one of the heat sinks, that one, and I'm gonna and one of the CPUs that's set there. So we're gonna take the other one. And I found that this is well it's very dry by now. Uh, there is most most cooling compound on this. So I will um, I remove it from the CPU first. And it it's kind of well it, it's still wet-ish, but well, it's probably should have been replaced a uh, long ago. Um, it doesn't look like anything that um, is really transferring a lot of heat anymore. And here is the CPU. Cool. So I'll be saving these. These are still good CPUs, definitely. So. And we'll remove this as well. Comes off really easy. I'm just using a piece of toilet paper for this. Um, we're gonna take Hank's processors up to the server. Uh, and I'm gonna, let's just give one of them some heating compound down here where we can film easier. I have this fairly cheap Chinese uh, heat compound, cooling compound um, that I use. It's not the best thing, but well, these are old servers. It's gonna, it's gonna be good enough. So I'm just gonna show you what I usually do. Uh, people have all their own ways to do this. And I do respect if you wanna do yours in another way. No problem, I'm doing it this way. So I make like a the five on a on a on a dice. There might have been a little bit too much, but that's that's one of the CPUs, and I'm gonna bring that up into the server and uh, put that in, and then afterwards I'm gonna be doing the other one. Okay. So from this impossible angle, we are gonna close the, this down. Uh, when you have these CPUs out, you have to be very careful because there are these sockets down here. And this is, um, well, it's this LGA 771 socket, I believe. And uh, there is like those 771 pins down there. And if you break one, well, the system board will just never be the same again. So there is that. Uh, for CPU number one, which I do believe is that one, there is the, the power converter is on the system board down there. Yeah, and for CPU number two, this is the voltage regulator for that one. So they are located there. Uh, so we have this closed down. So let's get the heat sinks up here. So let's put those in. And they can only go in one way, so that's that's a 
good thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Um, close that down. One down. The other one is there. And the other one. Okay. Then there is this air buffalo that I took out without explaining what that was. So this is to uh, direct the, the air uh, the right way around the CPUs. So these fans over here are in charge of cooling these two CPUs. Uh, so it's, it's rather efficient and these are redundant of course. So if, if this one fails, the other ones will turn to maximum to keep cooling the server. So very, very nice. Okay, let's close this up again. An interesting aspect of this server is that it's it's booting from a M.2 SSD, which is right here. This is a very old server, but it is able to boot from um, M.2 SSD. Not an NVMe, but an SSD. We can already see that the server sees the new CPUs and it sees two packages. So, But I'm gonna let it boot VMware to make sure that it's also working. So be back when that is done. So ESXi has booted and everything is A-OK. -okay. The new CPUs seems to be working fine. It did not complain about anything and awesome. I just checked what the prices of these CPUs are on Amazon and uh, this seems to be a little bit higher of a high-end processor in this series, in the 5400 series. So the 5450 is really cheap uh, when you go above that, the 5460 or the X5460, well it becomes more expensive so you would have to uh, pay around just under $40 for this processor on Amazon. If you go to eBay it might be a little bit cheaper, I'll leave some links in the description for Amazon. Compared to the X5450 that was in here. I can see that I should see a performance increase of about 5.2% from the old CPUs to the new CPUs. It might not seem like a lot, but well, everything counts. And they should really not cost me any more power than the old one. So it's kind of a win-win-win. Well, well, thank you very much to Hank for sending me these CPUs. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for my patrons. Please do go watch the videos that I make for you. Other than that, Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.